Greetings everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you an overview on Frame Ranger Lite. Frame Ranger Lite is a free add-on that is basically the lighter version of Frame Ranger. The feature is taken from Frame Ranger's timeline utility. Frame Ranger Lite splits into three separate add-ons which you can pick and choose which one you want to install in your blender. Note that you should not install this together with the paid version of Frame Ranger. If you try to enable them both at the same time, one will disable the others automatically to avoid problems. The first feature that is available in this add-on is Auto Frame Range. There is three different modes you can use in Auto Frame Range. The Action Mode will find the first and the last keyframe of the object's action and use them to set your first and the last frame in your scene. NLA and Sequence Mode will set the first and the last frame to fit the strip in Sequencer and NLA Editor. The only selected checkbox will make it so that the frame range only reacts to the selected objects or strip. The second part is Timeline Controller. This basically adds the timeline controller and the frame range setting from the timeline editor to other animation editors such as Dope Sheet, Graph Editor, and Video Sequencer. And the last part of the add-on is Frame Rate Remapper. You can find it in the output properties. This add-on will remap your keyframes, markers, and frame range from one frame rate to the other frame rate while keeping the speed of the animation. But be careful when using this feature because it is very destructive as it moves all the keyframe in the scene. Make sure to back up before using this feature.